One of the most uh, common sentiments from over 1,000 entrepreneurs that we've interviewed is that if you follow your passion, you'll never have to work a day in your life because what you do won't feel like work. I think that your hobbies are an expression of your passion, so turning your passion into a business can be the path to greater happiness and prosperity. Hi, I'm Nelson Davis, sharing my business experiences and thoughts with you today. Many of us have hobbies, a passionate interest in something that we don't use to earn our living. It's that thing that you'll stay up late at night doing or you'll devote hours to it on weekends. It's something that you obviously love so much that you'll even do it for free. A light went on in my head some years ago as I was purchasing materials to make model cars. Wait a minute, I said to myself. There are two people here who love having these little cars around, but I'm the one paying the other person. There were two hobbyists in that room, but it was a business for just one of us at the time. What is that thing for you? As you smile about just the thought of it, take a moment to write it down, and I'll lay out a step-by-step -step approach to making it a business. Just a few of the hobbies that I've seen people transform into their profitable full-time businesses include uh, photography, doll collecting, wristwatch collecting, helping friends with computers, and woodworking. When I was a teenager, making things out of wood was one of my hobbies, but it was number three on the list and did not become my business. Just because you really enjoy a hobby doesn't always mean that it can translate into a viable business. You should take a step back to determine if there's a market for it, and if there is, determine what kind of profit margins there may be. The first step is to get a clear feeling about how widespread the interest or need is in the marketplace around your hobby. For instance, uh, sewing and knitting are serious hobbies all around the world. If you search the word knitting on Google, for instance, there are over 100 million results. Move over to Amazon and you'll see over 150,000 results. That's all good and tells you that there is a large and crowded playing field for a lot of things in the knitting and sewing categories. But, as any champion will say, you have to be on the field to win a game, so if that's your area, think about getting on the field. What do you do next? Well, I say set up an online presence to test the marketplace. There are all sorts of ways to make money from a hobby, and the quickest way is to present and leverage your offering through a website. Depending on what you do, a very simple one can bring some amazing results. For instance, a friend of mine who is a writer has executives from all around the country now paying her to write some of their speeches. Your website should convey your fabulous enthusiasm and your broad knowledge on the subject, of course. Nearly every serious hobbyist will gladly pay for greater knowledge and helpful materials regarding their hobby. Your income, by the way, may not come directly from your hobby. Speaking or teaching about your knowledge base may be the way to make money for you. I've seen people who loved hiking and rock climbing, for instance, as a hobby, They've set up successful adventure tour businesses. Sometimes I'm surprised at the number of requests that I get to speak on what I've learned from over a thousand interviews with entrepreneurs. And I also get calls to help people develop their video strategies because I've produced a lot of television programming. With that background, I love telling others how to start their businesses with very little money or how to make very good videos with very simple <laughs> equipment. If you really want to make money from your hobby, you better treat it like a business. That means having clear goals and deadlines. The computer mogul Michael Dell, you know, started making money from his stamp collecting hobby before he was 15 years old. In college, he was crazy about assembling computers in his dorm room and selling them. Having passion and experience for your hobby will keep you going past the inevitable rough spots if you decide to turn it into a business. It'll take work discipline, and your problem-solving skills to monetize it. By the way, one of my favorite quotes comes from Michael Dell, and it is, you don't have to be a genius or a visionary or even a college graduate to be successful. You just need a framework and a dream. 
So remember, don't forget to enjoy what you do. We tend to love our hobbies, but that passion can start to fade if it becomes your daily routine. Always remind yourself of why you love it. So let's sum up here. Evaluate yourself and your passion before starting. Before investing your time, effort, and money into a business idea, you should do a quick self-evaluation to see where you stand in terms of knowledge and expertise. How passionate are you really about this hobby? Is it just a pastime activity, or is it something that you've really been involved in for a long time? We all dream of turning our hobbies into functional businesses because making money while doing something that you love sounds much better than a business where your only motivation is money. Will you get the same joy from your hobby when you turn it into a full-time business? Will you be able to enjoy it even with the deadlines and the work pressures? Done the right way, you really can trade that job that you don't love for a hobby-inspired business where you're all in. And that means one that's rewarding to you emotionally and financially. I'm Nelson Davis, and I want to help you make it in this entrepreneurial world. 